Buongiorno Paolo, parleremo di impasto alla napoletana, è un impasto tradizionale della nostra nazione, dell'Italia, eh, che è basato su quattro semplici elementi, di cui sono il lievito, il sale marino, l'acqua, purtroppo solo in bottiglia qui perché non sappiamo il pH dell'acqua normale, e la farina del Molino Pasini che è nostro, il nostro guest in questa, in questa seduta. So we start from a, a, a with a recipe is made uh, Napolitan dough is made uh, by four element uh, ingredient, water, salt, yeast and uh, naturally flour. And the fifth passion. And passion. And passion. Okay. Uh, so we start by the water. Yes. And uh, for one For one liter, we put uh, one kilo and eight of flowers, but we are looking, we have to look at how many uh, flowers absorb. It can change differently in, uh, uh, by the weather and the uh, temperature, so we have to put the flower little by little. and uh, mixing in a way that involving the, uh, the hair inside the, uh, the dome. In this way we can start with uh, rising. After a uh, little bit of flour in the water, we can put the yeast in. So start to uh, really rise. As, you, as the pizza maker uh, made, uh, they, are, uh, they put the flour slowly. In this way, uh, everything is uh, dissolved in the uh, in... wood. We give uh, more air inside the dough so the, uh, the yeast live inside and rise well. This is the, the best way to, uh, to learn how to make the dough because in this way we understand how the dough has to be uh, arrived at the point of the dough and so When we make a, the door with mixer, we know where we have to arrive. For, uh, for one liter of water, uh, we put uh, 50 grams of uh, yeast and just one gram of yeast. So 50 grams of salt and one gram of yeast. And, uh, And we mix this is a dough for a minimum eight hours of rising because at normal temperature 20 24 uh, degrees Celsius. Avete potuto vedere il lievito l'abbiamo messo dopo proprio perché l'abbiamo distaccato dal sale giusto per proteggerlo perché così possa entrare in maniera più integra e l'impasto e cominciare a lavorare bene. We uh, put this uh, not uh, with the salt just to, to leave the opportunity uh, to the yeast to rise uh, without uh, uh, something that uh, uh, make a, a competition with him. So uh, the salt is a technical ingredient, it's not just to give a, fla uh, a flavor to the, the dough, but it's a technical ingredient because uh, make the net, the gluten net more stronger. And after the uh, dissolved in, uh, in one liter of water, uh, don't give so salty taste, but just need uh, the dough to make, uh, to make the net better. 
questo momento stiamo cominciando a creare la rete dove poi andiamo a imprigionare quello che i lieviti faranno, perché i lieviti attaccheranno una parte di questa farina che sarà già, avrà già cominciato questo processo e si dividerà, attaccherà gli zuccheri e mangerà questi zuccheri creando anidride carbonica e alcol. A noi interessa imprigionare l'anidride carbonica, l'aria, in modo che poi la nostra pizza rimanga leggera e molto alveolata. So we, uh, when uh, the rising start, the, the yeast eat the, uh, the sugar and uh, mix and uh, simplify the dough so, and produce alcohol, uh, alcohol and, uh, and, uh, and air uh, and gas. Bravo, anidride carbonica. And we need to, uh, to store the anidride carbonica and uh, in this way we simplify the dough that became digestible. Okay, they uh, work on the table just to, to show you the way they fold and fold the door to involve the, the air inside. Questa maglia, questa maglia glutinica migliore comincia a crearsi sempre più forte. Useremo proprio una tecnica di girare, schiacciare, buttando fuori dell'altra aria, accumulandone ancora altra, affinché questa rimanga imprigionata in tutti i tessuti. So they try to, uh, with the moment, to involve more air and uh, to, uh, to help the, uh, the gluten net become more stronger and uh, uh, proportionate. Questo è... È molto, molto importante anche per poi riuscire ad arrivare a capire il punto di pasta. And uh, this is made uh, to, uh, trying to arrive at the point of dough, as the pizza maker uh, called point of dough, means that when there is a good balance uh, and the dough uh, looks wet but is not chewy. We need uh, 20 minutes of work to make a good dough and after I will to leave to rice for a minimum 8 hours. Fare l'impasto a mano è molto importante nella tecnica perché crea meno attrito rispetto a queste alle macchine e questo ci permette di avere un impasto con una temperatura più bassa. Making the dough by hand, we have uh, the opportunity to, to have a dough with a low, uh, with not so high temperature, with a, a right temperature that during the mix in the machine, rise the temperature of the dough. In this way, we have a, a dough at the right temperature. Ovviamente la macchina crea maggior attrito e maggiore calore che viene sprigionato per poter aiutarci in questo sistema e tenere basse le temperature possiamo usare l'acqua più fredda affinché nella, nella lavorazione il passo finito deve rimanere sempre. If we stay in a, in a period of uh, hot weather, we, try, we can try to, uh, to have a, a low temperature using a, a cold water. Not so, not much cold, but uh, a, a, temp, a, a right temperature is uh, uh, 10 degrees Celsius. In this way, we can leave the, uh, the temperature uh, of the dough uh, less. La temperatura ottimale di un impasto a fine della lavorazione è intorno ai 23 a 24 gradi Celsius. At the end, the temperature has to be uh, 23 degrees Celsius. Now, after the while they're meeting the dough, I try to explain that uh, Napolitan dough uh, is different from the other uh, dough because it, uh, there is no fat inside as uh, other kind of pizza and uh, everything is needs for um, the, the right cooking because uh, uh, the Napolitan pizza cooks just in 60 seconds, maximum 90 seconds and so they need this fat inside. It's a really light pizza. And uh, when uh, we go to cook, to cook in uh, so fast way, we need also a uh, good oven uh, that arrives to 900 Fahrenheit degrees or 450 uh, degrees Celsius. In this way, we can cook quickly and uh, in perfect way. The dough after is uh, ready. We leave uh, for two hours minimum and after we make the bowl.
quando si vede pronti me lo dite no? Uh, vuoi parlare un po' della farina, delle caratteristiche della farina che deve, uh, deve avere per... Uh, uh, now, uh, now uh, you try to explain uh, which kind of flour needs for a good Napolitan pizza. Hi, I'm Alessandro Negrini, I'm a technical support for uh, Marino Pasini. And uh, so the flour that we use now is uh, uh, our merde. This is a flour, very, very nice for made uh, the pizza. We have a W300 and uh, it's a certificate of this association because uh, uh, the quality uh, is very, very good. And uh, the good of this flour that is uh, in 360 days, always uh, 23 degrees. Is my voice. So. Uh, before to, uh, to taste the pizza, I w we want to show how to make the bowl and how is the correct technique to uh, extend to stretch the pizza. Because uh, uh, always, uh, everything we have to say that during the dough we involve the pear inside. So when you make the, uh, the little bowl of dough, we try to do the same. Even if the dough is not uh, uh, right uh, at the right time to make the, uh, the bowl, we show the technique. Okay, uh, now uh, Armando, show the, uh, the way. Fallo vedere alzando il... Okay. Dei chai? Okay. Involve with your hand, the hair inside, and close the door, making a bowl. After he cut a piece of bowl, like a bowl, and the bowl is, is done. In this way, the net, the gluten net, involve and store the hair inside, that after we need to make a crust in the pizza. Un paio di panetti per far vedere. Come viene la tavola? Vai, vai. Somebody want chai? Oh, you want chai? Somebody want chai to, uh, to make? As you see, the dough he the hair and at the end he cut like the mozzarella is cut by hand is the similar moment. You can try? Okay. Armando, yeah. try to, uh, to explain uh, which you want. Try to go inside. Okay. Perfect. Making a little dough, a little bowl. When uh, the pit in uh, in Rapu, the pizza maker try to to stretch and he push the door with the two hands together from one side to another, pushing the hair that are inside below the the external area. When the door rise the dimension of one hand. We start to with the moment, alternative moment of two hands. In this way the elasticity of the dough is preserved. While when the, the people try to stretch the pizza like a DJ, okay, with a circular moment, is uh, uh, they stress the dough. Instead, in this way, in a Napolitan technique, we, uh, we leave the dough el uh, elastic and we preserve the hair that are inside and if you see when it finish we don't have the crust okay but when we go to cook the hair that are right that are inside push up and make the crust so the crust is not made before but is naturally made cooking the pizza it is made in that right way
If they have the, the, the peacemaker have not this technique uh, he tried to make before, that is a wrong way. Because uh, a way to see that the pizza is uh, naturally uh, rising, we can see after it's cooked, cutting the, the crust, and we see some bubble over here inside. And so, if it's uh, full of bread, it's, uh, it's a good pizza, but it's not rising well, and it's not made well. While if you see in the crust a bubble over here, it's more light, it's lighter than uh, the other. If you, if you want to see, and uh, you can see that inside, you, you see the, the heat that arrived. Okay. Now, uh, as uh, Colorado Scaglione, I show you, uh, inside the, the dough, there is more air that we use in the Napolitan pizza. It's important because be, uh, the Napolitan pizza became more uh, lighter than the other pizza for this reason, because it's full of air. While we, uh, the pizza maker, uh, going to prepare uh, your tasting, we continue with uh, some other uh, things about the ingredients, because uh, Napolitan pizza is perfect and we start by the dough, but also the ingredients that we use on top is important. And in particular, we the, the most part of the ingredient in a Napolitan recipe of pizza is the uh, peeled tomato. What do you guys give it away here? What is it? Free New Belgium. Free beer. Free beer. Free beer. Yeah, come to the convention. <laughs> Yeah, six, three. Five, four, Last year we missed it. Yeah. I, I think it took it, didn't it? Now on one foot. On the other foot. Okay, so what I have here is a cast iron pan pizza. I burnt um, the fresh or the smoked mozzarella around the outside. Uh, I used the fresh mozzarella along with the smoked mozzarella on the base of the pizza. I used the sun-dried tomatoes, uh, artichoke hearts, chicken, red onions. I then baked it in a 500 degree oven and moved it to the wood-fired oven behind me, which was at 615. And to finish it, I did a two cheese cream sauce and topped it with chives. Thank you.